Employees from Kitt Peak National Observatory are nervously watching the Contreras fire. They had to quickly evacuate, leaving behind tens of millions of dollars of equipment. Nine Inch Side's Perla Shaheen learned more about the observatory and its importance for those astronomers. Joe Hoshite has worked on the telescopes on Kitt Peak for the last 15 years. On the radio, uh, they said, you know, we got a call for evacuation. Uh, we need everybody off the mountain within a couple of hours. He and five employees were at the observatory when they were called to evacuate. That was very stressful because we had the overhead crane out. We were moving around very large pieces of equipment. And so we kind of divided and conquered. It was up to them to bring down as many of the expensive and fragile instruments as they could. So this would mount like up underneath the telescope. That included smaller cameras like this one. Hoshite says these are one of a kind and can cost millions of dollars. But more important to him was the sentimental value. My old boss passed away from uh, cancer about a year ago and he was the manager up there and I didn't want to let him down. Like, I've been helping cover since he's been gone. Hoshite's team could only save a small percentage of the equipment, but fire crews say that all 27 telescopes seem to remain intact. They're still not sure of how long it's going to be until we can go back. Four facilities were damaged or destroyed, including one dormitory where Joanne Flores used to sleep. I'm hoping that in the next few weeks I'll be able to go up and help clean up, if anything, even if that's just like shoveling my old dorms into a trash bag or whatever that is. Despite uncertainty, Hoshite believes it's all downhill from here, with maybe some help from his old boss. I feel like maybe he pulled a few strings for us uh, if, if we make it through this. Perla Shaheen, KGON 9, on your side.